and welcome back to Keep On Creating. I'm Mike and today, well, I've been working on something for a little while now and I'm ready to kind of let it out. So, to the back cave. First of all, first I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers all the comments and all the likes you guys are awesome and if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button located down here somewhere and smash the like button it really helps the channel out and also a big thank you to all the supporters on the keeponcreating.shop website you're awesome and that's kind of what this episode is about today i've been working on a little project for a little while now trying to make it simple a one click option to take an object like this and turn it into a cool distressed or stamp effect like this with one single click and that's why I think this is going to be super awesome for you guys because it is so easy to use and without more the rest of the gibble gabble let's just jump into illustrator so I can show you guys exactly how this works I'm pretty excited about this as you can probably tell and where do we start well we're gonna first of all start by downloading the file so this is the file that I've got right here and I'll leave it a link in the description below so you know exactly where to go get it. So when you've got your file already, all you can do is open it up. So I'm just gonna quickly double click that, click, and it's gonna open up the file. And you are gonna be presented with these five different styles here. So you're gonna you can all see on your left hand side, I've got to get my left and my right right here. So your left hand side, you've got style one, which is a little bit of a less distressed look, all the way through style two, three, four, and five, which is a mega distressed effect, as you can basically see it goes from less to more. And Depends on which one you want to use, that's the way you're going to look at it. And now, how do we use these styles? Well, it is super easy and you're going to love this. So all you got to do is go up to Window, go down to Graphic Styles and open up that window where you will see these five elements. Sometimes it opens up with a automated version of what Illustrator is. So sometimes you'll see a few more graphic styles in between these. But these are actually the styles that we're going to be using. So what I need to do is I'm just going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to draw a block. So literally, I'm just going to draw a block right here. So a block there. And let's just give it some color. So whatever color you use, it's going to turn to black. So we can sort out some color later. But let's just start off with this simple little block here. I'm going to do a few different widths so you can see what different effects do to the different widths. So let's just make from what we've kind of got here to a little bit thicker to a little bit thicker. And you can see what one style will do to the three different options. So with them all selected, I'm just going to make another copy of that quick. So with this top row selected, I am going to go to my image style. So I'm going to close this down and I'm going to select our style one. So our style one, you can see what it does. So a thinner column, less distressed, a thicker column, more distressed, and a very thick column, very more distressed, but it's giving us that nice border around it. So by the time you hit like style number four, and I do the same effect. So this is style four. You can see it says four distressed right here. So that's one distressed, two distressed, three distressed, four distressed, and five distressed. I'm going to click on four distressed. So you can see it basically gets closer to that border around there. So you can see what it does to the different column width. So the thick your column is the more distressed look you're going to basically have so that's how this works now let's just take this little one right here i'm going to hold on alt and drag it off onto the side of my page because if you want this to remain as it is and a vector file this is what we're going to do so we're going to take this as you see i've got it selected i'm going to head up here to object and i'm going to drop down to expand appearance now more times out of not there is this little bar this properties bar that kind of pops up at the top over here i could just click on this image trace and that would be fine for the next stage if this does not show on your side of your computer on your screen all you can do is go up to window and go down to image trace this option here so click on that and you'll be presented with this a window right here okay so what we need to do is we need to basically let's just deselect that and reselect that and you'll see uh, this trace command comes up that's what you want to click so you can see i've just got on default tracing result black and white 128 and i'm leaving everything the same and i'm clicking this trace the previous turned off i'm clicking trace and you'll see what it does it basically gives us a trace of that now I'm just going to close that window and get it out the way now what i'm going to do is go up to object again and click expand OK, and I'm going to make sure object and fill are on and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to do the next step twice. So I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to go ungroup and I'm going to go ungroup. Now what I can do is I can just select this white bit, drag it away and delete it. Likewise, for all these little white bits in here, I can drag a marquee just around them so you can see where I'm dragging all the way down. 
Okay, I'm gonna hold down shift, select the black area, and just hit delete. Now this is a complete vector element. I can go and I can change it to whatever color I want. So I can change it to red. Let's just make a few options here. So let's just go from here and make this, if I wanted orange, if I wanted yellow. So you can see how you could break down your logo into different colors, whatever design you want, you can basically go and break it down into whatever colors you want. So you can go from your blacks all the way to your reds, to your yellows, whatever color you so desire and whatever distress look you're looking for. So if you're looking for less to more, thinner lines create less of a effect, thicker lines create more of an effect, and then you've got the more and more of effect if you want to go up that way. Okay, so let's get that one out the way. So let's just delete that and delete these. So next thing we're going to jump into is if you want to distress a font. Let's get up some text here. So I'm just going to hit T to get our text tool up and let's just type in something here, create, and I'm going to make it big in, big in capitals to make that line really nice and thick so we get a good distress look out of this one. Okay, so there's two options we could actually do here. I'm just going to make a duplicate of this. I'm holding Alt and Shift and I'm just dragging it straight below my other one. So the first way I would actually recommend you to do everything is I would have your items well, your text selected like I've got here, okay? And I would outline that font. So I'm gonna go Command, Shift, and O, or you can hit it here up to Type, drop down to, I can't even remember where it is, Create Outlines. So click on that Create Outlines over there, and it's basically created outlines. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to ungroup this. So Command, Shift, G, or Object, and Ungroup. Then I'm going to open up my Pathfinder tool, which is this right here. I'm going to open up my Pathfinder. You see the Pathfinder window. I'm going to hold down Alt. Now, do not forget to hold down Alt or your Option key, whichever that you are on. You see it says Option, click to create compound shape and add shape area. So I want you to click this while holding Alt. And you'll see this little Expand button is going to come up. So I'm going to click that. And now I'm going to click Expand. So I've got one that is a outline and one that is a font. Okay. so. With both of them selected, I am now going to just close down this window here and get our graphic styles. And let's select number two. Okay, so this distress, two distress over here. So I'm gonna select that and you'll see it starts creating the look. Now, obviously with this one here, I it's distressed as it is and I can do the same as what I did in the previous one. I can go and convert this even to vector, but it is as it is. But if I scale this up and down now, you'll see what happens is it sort of creates a more distressed look because the column widths get wider. Okay, so just if you want something to stay exactly as it is, it can stay exactly as it is, or you can make it thicker, and that, it, that effect is gonna be changing slightly. So the smaller I go, the less effect it's gonna be. Okay, now a cool thing about this on the second way you do, you do it, I can actually keep on typing in this and it'll keep on distressing everything I do. So keep on, it takes a little bit of time because obviously it's trying to do everything. I'm gonna zoom out here as soon as I can. Let's just zoom out, there we go, Creton, Creton. So create, and I need an E in there. So you can see what you see, you can keep on editing this and then you can convert it later. I would always kind of rec recommend get your font and everything right how you want it because you can see what the lag you kind of get from actually having to retype things. So. Get your design ready first and then hit your desired distressed effect. So it works exactly the same with logos as it does with text. So that was your basically your text option. Let's just bring in a logo quick and we'll do that version too. Okay, let me just get a design in here. I'm just gonna paste it in. All right, there we go. Okay, so basically with this design, just make make sure everybody understands this is a single color design. So I have gone and punched out all this text around here. So you can see no matter where I drag it, it kind of takes on that back background, whatever it is. So if I had to make that, let's just make it a pink color, send it to the back. You can see it is a one color design. So whatever this color is in the background, it shows through everything. So basically the text over here, I have punched through any black area or dark or solid area. So I'm just left with this one color over here. So you can see it is black, it is a single color. It is red, it is a single color. So what I need to do here is I need to just simply select my logo. I'm gonna select on, let's just say option number two. We haven't used that one yet. And boom, it is distressed. 
it's done. But now you're saying, hey, Mike, I want to change some colors in this logo. Well, it's pretty damn easy. If you just select it, drag it off to the side, I'm holding Alt, so we just drag a copy of this so we don't mess too much up. So with it selected, I am going to go up to Object. I'm going to go Expand Appearance. I'm going to hit Image Trace. And it just says as Manjago, it may take some time. So just click OK. And if it doesn't go fast, go grab some popcorn. So once that's done, you are going to go up to Object again, hit Expand, make sure your object and your filler are all is selected, click OK. And now I'm going to ungroup it twice. So Command Shift G, Command Shift G. So ungroup it twice. Then it selects you whichever colors you don't want in it. So I'm just going to delete all that. And if you don't want these little elements in here, you can go ahead and delete them. If you don't want any of the whites in at all, just select it. Let's go select same fill color. It'll select everything that's white. Backspace this and you'll see it all disappear. Now select the elements that you want in a certain color. So say I want those in, let's do them in a, let's do them in an orange. Uh, select the top bit. I'm going to have that in orange too. These side bits here, you can make them yellow. We can make this inside gray if we wanted to. So just select all the little elements that you want separate. And let's just make that a gray. Not that you can see any of that. Let's move this one out the way and pop this one straight into here. And you can see how easy it is to create all the different colors how easy it is to make this a distress look with one simple click. And of course, if you wanted to add even more distress into these little areas here, you can always select them and go ahead and do it all over again. So you can select it, you can select the very harsh one if you wanted those little bits to be a bit more distressed. So you see how capable this is of just making things so simple to distress stuff. Man, this is awesome. There's just one more way I want to show you how you can actually import these styles into your graphic style sheet. So say you've got your logo like this one or your design. Remember, it's just a single color design. You just simply go up to Window. You're going to drop down to Graphic Styles. Click on that. Now, it brings up this window over here. You're going to go to your hamburger menu, which is these three little lines over here. You're going to click on that. You're going to go all the way down to your Open Graphic Styles Library. Go to there and then drop all the way down to down over here to Other Library. Now, just go and locate where your file is. So mine's on my desktop. Here it is over here. And I'm going to open it. Now, I'm just left with this window over here. And that has just got my elements in it. So you just choose which one you want. A click on it and your design will start changing into your distressed look. And how awesome is that? You can but just basically take your graphic, your your logo, your design, a circle, anything, and change it for something like this into something like this with one single click. All that I'll remind you of is just make sure it's a single color object and preferably united like I've shown you in the video and you're not gonna have any problems. It's just gonna be, it's just one click awesomeness. The link is in the description below if you wanna go grab your copy of it and I can't wait to see what you guys do with it. And that about brings us to the end of another episode. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, leave a comment and I shall catch you on the next one. I'm out.